there guys, what's up? Um, today I'm actually presenting to you guys a striker build and I do apologize for my voice, my allergies are still acting up but I wanted to do this anyway because a lot of people had seen it and they really wanted it. Um, I demonstrated this for a short while on stream the other day. Uh, normally I don't de uh, showcase my builds but I accidentally opened up the inventory so if you see this build from anyone else just know that it was actually made on my uh, last Donald stream. Um, which was on Friday afternoon All right, but I was a bit delayed in actually uh, bringing out this build now What you have to do is you start with chaos and entropy. That's the carnivore strikers, okay? Predator cell berserker cell You've got your special being Titans crash mod is inertial fist guard All right, or you can take advantage of echo brace driver honestly up to you. I prefer inertial fist guard for this um just because I think I like the additional move speed and I use my surge quite a bit. Hands of Dawn will be your bond, all right? Discipline will be your Omnicell, okay? For your Lantern, Skarn's Defiance with the Third Catunement Cell. I'm gonna remove my cam and go through the rest. Tragic Echo for your Helmet, Rage Cell. Thrax's Shadow, Predator Cell. Might of Stone, Parasitic Cell. Volcanic Treads, Berserker Cell. Now, the alternative here is... Um, hang on, wait. This might take a bit of thinking. There was another alternative that I had here planned. I just can't remember what it was. I think we were discussing it on stream the other day, but... Huh. What was it here that is the alternative? Sorry, give me one second. I have to... I have to remember this because we were discussing it on stream. Ah, yes. Okay. So, um, the alternative is if you don't want, like, uh, Fortress and Parasitic on your gloves for some weird reason, you can actually swap it to Agaric Roots. And you can still put Fortress and Parasitic on the build, just that it'll be on your feet. And then you'll swap the hands over to the... Uh, Boreal Might. That's the that's the main alternative there. Okay, um, but overall, what you want with this build is plus six Berserker. All right, because here with this build, you really don't care whether you die or not. So plus six Berserker, plus six Cunning, plus six Predator. All right, all of this increases your damage, um, and Cunning will pair well with the Discipline Omni Cell. So your crit damage is increased, your base damage is increased by Predator Berserker. Uh, rage will comes from the because you have to use tragic echo so you may as well go plus six even if you take a hit and you lose predator rage will trigger however rage only gives you 20 percent so remember that so you're losing 15 percent dps if you do take a hit um so if you play flawlessly you do even better if you die though it doesn't really matter and i'll explain why a third attunement will help to recharge your lantern faster keeping you in the game fortress as long as you don't take damage you will gain shields all right Further encouraging the uh, flawless playstyle with uh, Predator. And Parasitic, if you do take damage, will help to ease the burden. And Tenacious is just a throwaway because uh, there's nothing else to add, and I felt that it would just be helpful to add it in. Um, let me see if I remember correctly. Yes, okay, that's it. So, what does this build do in general, and why is it so strange? Okay, so this build was originally designed um, for the sword, and the sword version will come later, although it was designed first. I know, weird, right? But the Tragic Echo has a new ability that um, will reset every time you kill a behemoth. So the idea behind this build was to develop something like a Berserker style, whereby you play as flawlessly as possible, but if you do take a hit, and if you do get comboed and die, right? You basically come back as a shadow clone dealing 100% extra damage for 15 seconds and then you can revive yourself with the carnivore uh, legendary ability therefore getting back into the game you see that was the idea behind this whole build um does it work well well we're gonna test that out aren't we so i'm now going to jump into the hunting grounds we'll go to hades reach all right and we'll test this out live here's the webcam back now while we while we uh, head in let me also say thank you to april's top supporters bravo 7910 kaz Mantum, a lovely girl 
Zabu Zumaki, Johnny Nara, The Mighty Zeno, Splashroom, Death Donny 982, Zeke, River Archer 124, Red Coats, Michael Riley, Brett Gillen, Ole Miss Cream Puff, Nate Smith, Mike Bogema, Ty Ruthford, Fearless Ninja, I'm a Boxhead, Rogue Assassin, Shoot, as well as Drago. Drago is in this list, but just hasn't been updated yet. It will be updated after today. I do apologize for any delays. And of course, we have our Throne of Honor, Death Donny 982, plus Ultra Member. Drago, Joshua Moritz, Don't Mind Me, Stephen Martin, Ole Miss Cream Puff, Jerry Fast, Logan Schwartz, Titorius Venom, The Forgotten, Nate the Great, Zack and MG, and Rogue Assassin. All prestige members. Again, this list also needs updating, but that will happen after today. Thank you guys very much. Alright, you guys are amazing supporters. If you like my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Alright, if you want to support the channel, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. Send super thanks on YouTube. You can join as a channel member, gaining access to various perks, or, you know, just become wow my webcam device not available thanks thanks there we go <laughs> you can join as a channel member and gain access to various perks or just drop super chats on stream all right y'all give me one second gotta love it when technology decides to die on you but also i had to pause for a second because i really need to blow my nose allergy is killing me all right just to prove that there's no hanky panky no potions have been used and my build is still exactly the same, okay? I like to make sure I show this if there's any video cuts because I do not want you ever to think that uh, we do anything unfair. So of course we'll go straight to the Hellion, which is five levels above us. Now, the thing with this build is that you are meant to die, all right? But try not to die. Ideally, you don't want to die if you don't have to. All right, that's why there's plenty of good stuff in this build. And in fact, it's great training for those who want to uh, become flawless. Now, I've already taken a hit and lost my Predator bonus, but that's, that will still show that this is effective. All right, so now we wait. Do watch behemoth movements, oops, sorry. As best you can. Now, I'm pretty trash with strikers, but even with my trash tier skills, God damn it, I'm so bad with the strikers. Strikers are really not my weapon, I think you can tell, but um, even so, like I said, even with my trash tier skills, this is this will go generally well. Now like I said, do not worry about hit points. That's not something you have to be concerned about. Now here is where it gets fun. You die? Okay, no problem. This is where you can go ham. Now, you're dead, right? Revive yourself with Cornivore. And round two begins. Okay? Just like so. And this is this is how this build generally works. Like even if you die. All right, you're not gonna be in a bad situation. And that is what makes it so uh, special in that sense because yeah, sure, I died, but nothing was lost. I didn't have to use a stim. I didn't have to do anything. I'm, I'm back in the game. And against a behemoth that's only about three levels higher than you, you're gonna see a, hu a marked increase in performance. As I'll always mention, um, all builds are actually geared ideally to fight behemoths three and four levels above you why that's the ideal xp point five six seven levels above you you're being inefficient because you're affecting your own uh tdk for no reason for like no benefit you know so you don't want to do that you want to be going max hardness <laughs> i know i know but in order to do that you will you will generally want to oh come on i thought i was going to jump at me sorry about that like I said, sometimes I'm just pretty bad with the strikers. That's okay. For some reason, my timings are always like so smooth on the sword, but strikers, I'm like, I get dirt.
you go. Keep in mind, my strikers is level 12. This is just easy peasy. You see? So, against a behemoth 3 4 levels above you, there are literally no problems. You would just smack them down. Alright? I don't think there's anything else to showcase. So if you enjoy this build, just remember that it's it's a very interesting build because it doesn't matter if you die. All right. So <laughs> excuse me. You want to try and play as flawlessly as possible. I knew that was coming, but I couldn't stop it. Stop the recording in time. Uh, you want to play as flawlessly as possible, but if you don't get everything 100% right, you're still okay, and that's what's so amazing about this build. So. If you enjoyed the showcase, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to uh, support the channel, you can drop a tip via link in the description of the video. Send super thanks on YouTube. You can join as a channel member, gain access to various perks, or just come on stream and drop some super chats. I'll appreciate anything like that. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all on the next one. Enjoy the build, folks.